Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, 2024, and this is our daily bread. The title is, For I the Lord Have Spoken. It's from Ezekiel chapter 26, verses 1 to 21, and the key verse is verse 14. It says, I will make you a bare rock, and you will become a place to spread fishnets. You will never be rebuilt, for I the Lord have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. In the eleventh month of the twelfth year, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, because Tyre has said of Jerusalem, Aha, the gate to the nations is broken and its doors have swung open to me. Now that she lies in ruins, I will prosper. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am against you, Tyre, and I will bring many nations against you, like the sea casting up its waves. They will destroy the walls of Tyre and pull down her towers. I will scrape away her rubble and make her a bare rock. Out in the sea, she will become a place to spread fishnets, for I have spoken declares the Sovereign Lord. She will become plunder for the nations, and her settlements on the mainland will be ravaged by the sword. Then they will know that I am the Lord. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says. From the north I am going to bring against Tyre Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of kings, with horses and chariots, with horsemen and a great army. He will ravage your settlements on the mainland with the sword. He will set up siege works against you, build a ramp up to your walls, and raise his shields against you. He will direct the blows of his battering rams against your walls and demolish your towers with his weapons. His horses will be so many that they will cover you with dust. Your walls will tremble at the noise of the war horses, wagons, and chariots when he enters your gates as men enter a city whose walls have been broken through. The hooves of his horses will trample all your streets. He will kill your people with the sword, and your strong pillars will fall to the ground. They will plunder your wealth and loot your merchandise. They will break down your walls and demolish your fine houses and throw your stones, timber, and rubble into the sea. I will put an end to your noisy songs, and the music of your harps will be heard no more. I will make you a bare rock and you will become a place to spread fishnets. You will never be rebuilt, for I the Lord have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to Tyre. Will not the coastlands tremble at the sound of your fall when the wounded groan and the slaughter takes place in you? Then all the princes of the coast will step down from their thrones and lay aside their robes and take off their embroidered garments, clothed with terror, they will sit on the ground, trembling every moment, appalled at you. Then they will take up a lament concerning you and say to you, How you are destroyed, city of renown, peopled by men of the sea. You were a power on the seas, you and your citizens. You put your terror on all who lived there. Now the coastlands tremble on the day of your fall. The islands in the sea are terrified at your collapse. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. When I make you a desolate city, like cities no longer inhabited, and when I bring the ocean depths over you and its vast waters cover you, then I will bring you down with those who go down to the pit, to the people of long ago. I will make you dwell in the earth below, as in ancient ruins, with those who go down to the pit, and you will not return or take your place in the land of the living. I will bring you to a horrible end, and you will be no more. You will be sought, but you will never again be found, declares the Sovereign Lord. Daily Bread First, God's Sovereignty Over Nations Ezekiel's prophecy about Tyre reveals that God controls all nations and events. Tyre hoped to gain prosperity from Israel's troubles, but God judged them, proving that no one escapes his will. It's important to view global and local events through the lens of God's sovereignty. 
God's plans are final and he holds every nation accountable. Understanding this can bring peace during uncertain times and help us trust in God's plan. When we look at history, politics, or today's events, we should remember that God is at work and that his justice will win in the end. Second, the danger of seeking personal gain in others' misfortune. Tyre's desire to profit from Jerusalem's downfall warns us not to celebrate or take advantage of others' misfortunes. God's judgment on Tyre shows how much he dislikes that attitude. We should resist the urge to use someone's struggles for our personal gain, whether at work or with friendships. For instance, if a coworker is having a hard time and you could advance by pointing out their mistakes, choose to help them instead. This not only strengthens the community, but also follows God's call to love and serve others with humility. Let's pray. Lord, remind me that you have authority over everything and help me trust in your perfect justice. Keep me from the sin of taking advantage of others and teach me to respond to their struggles with kindness and support, not selfish gain. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, God has the final authority.